Welcome to the HS2 Transport Case Study. HS2 stands for High Speed Rail 2. The length of the HS2 network is 530 kilometres. The original line will run from London to Birmingham, but further extensions into Scotland are expected. There will be 14 trains per hour running in both directions. The trains will run up to 400 metres long. That's nearly half a kilometre. There'll be up to 1,100 seats per train, which is a lot more cost effective than an intercity flight, which normally carries around 50 people. Total cost will be around 42.6 billion, but full estimates are not known. These are the social costs and benefits of HS2. With the building of HS2, jobs are needed to build it, and run it in the future. It is also thought that it will help bridge the North-South Divide. It also has better safety records than roads. On the other hand, there are only rough estimates of the final costs, bearing, varying between £40 billion pounds and £50 billion. Pounds. Demolition of houses will also have to take place. People don't want to move. Economic costs and benefits of HS2. There are currently better, better value projects the UK could spend money on, and the new rail link isn't the best priority. There are better ways, such as increasing train length on existing routes, and there are no set costs yet. Although, funds are spread over time, so hopefully it will pay itself off. Jobs are created, which are good for the economy. And HS1 is, HS1 is successful, why can't HS2 be too? Environmental costs and benefits of HS2. HS2 is cleaner than a traffic jam, as 1,100 people in a train is a lot cleaner than 1,100 people in individual cars. It also puts out less carbon emissions than an intercity flight. This is good for the environment. For the existing route, there will have to be demolition of rural areas, disturbance of wildlife and disruptance of national heritage sites. It will also run through farmland, which is a source of our food. This is my assessment of the HS2 rail project. In social, there were three pros and two cons. In economic, three pros, but four cons. In environmental, there were two pros and three cons. In total, that's eight pros and nine cons. So in my assessment, HS2 should not go ahead. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.